adventure of Canberra last week, we headed back out to the coast, out to the South New South Wales coast, to Batemans Bay, and then worked our way down the coast through to Dalmeny, Marimbula, and finishing off at Eden. Right, so here we are in very windy Batemans Bay. So we're here for a couple of nights. The weather's not great, so it's really windy, but uh, we drove through yesterday and it was a stunning day. So we we're kicking ourselves that we didn't come into town yesterday and check it out. Well, the weather was amazing, but uh, never mind. We'll have a look around. I think we'll get some lunch and uh, we've got a few admin -y things to do in the caravan today. So given the weather's a bit miserable, we'll probably head back and spend the afternoon and do those things. But uh, yeah, it's a lovely little town though, really cool little place. And we've had rave reviews about this place as well. So um, yeah, on a sunny day, it'd be magnificent. But uh, anyway, we'll see what we can do around anyway. So we're staying at a place called Bruley and that's slightly south of Batemans Bay. So we are just moseying back down the coast to see what's interesting. We don't really know much about this area of coast at all. So we are literally just driving and if we see something we like the look of, we'll just stop and have a bit of a wander. We're continuing our journey south along the New South Wales coast and we've come here to Dalmany. We're staying at the Dalmany campground. Um, I'm thinking you pronounce it Dalmany, Dalmany. I'm not too sure. Someone could, I'm sure will correct me in the comments below. Um, and the campground is great. It's right by the cliff, right next to the beach here. So Dalmany was actually named after the British Prime Minister back in 1894 to 1895 and it's an absolutely beautiful spot. There's a lot of rocky cliffs but a lot of lovely beach as well and the views from the campground are fantastic. So we've just popped down to Naruma for this morning and have a look around this lovely little town. Really impressive little town. We're actually staying in Dalmeny, which is about 20 minutes down the road. But uh, we have thought we'd come here this morning just to have a look around. And behind me is a little uh, formation called Australia Rock. Do you see it? Yeah, kind of. The whole kind of looks like Australia, I guess, right? But anyway, more importantly, there's a load of fur seals out here. So hopefully we'll have a walk along the uh, jetty just here and spot some fur seals playing around in the water. So uh, let's go have a look if we can find any. Well, we're here in Marimbula, lovely little coastal town. It's a real stunner. Um, I've never been here, Hannah's never been here. It's only six hours away from Melbourne as well, but a beautiful little town here, a uh, beautiful little coastal town. And we've got a couple of days here and we thought we'd get out and about while the weather's still nice. It's supposed to rain quite a lot tonight and tomorrow. So uh, we're using the opportunity now to have a look around. But uh, yeah, we've kind of left ourselves a little bit short of time in the New South Wales coast. We, we chewed up more time than expected over in WA and NT and probably more in Queensland as well. So it's actually left us a little short on time uh, for the New South Wales coast. 
we, we gave ourselves a year for this trip and we're only like a week and a half or so away from getting back to Melbourne. So quite, quite gobsmacked really. I can't believe it's been a year already. Uh, it's just flown by incredibly fast, but we're looking forward to getting home, but we're still looking forward to doing uh, a few weeks of travel. Um, but yeah, that's why we're pretty short on time in the New South Wales coast and we just haven't been able to do as many stops as we would have liked uh, down the coastline. And there's so many beautiful spots, so many beautiful beaches, so many beautiful coastline and towns along the way. So we really had to whiz through them pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're here in Marimbula and we're gonna check out here for a few days and then, uh, and then keep heading down south. So I don't know if you can see behind us, but here at Marimbula Lake, there is an enormous oyster farm and they have its Sydney rock oysters, which apparently are really highly sought after and in high demand. So as a result of that, they're really careful about the lake because they want to keep it really clean and in good condition for all of the oysters. To Pambula Beach now and just past the main part of Pambula Beach is another beach which is off-leash dog friendly and it's called Lions Park Beach. The, um, the sand is gorgeous, the sea is gorgeous, it's a really lovely spot and Archie is having a whale of a time. We've come down right to the bottom of New South Wales South Coast to Eden. Now, we actually arrived the day before yesterday, but yesterday did not stop raining all day. Um, there's been rain all the way up the East Coast yesterday and we saw some awful scenes up in Gympie where the whole town's pretty much flooded. So relatively speaking, I think we got it quite lightly here, but there was constant rain the whole day. So we generally just stayed in the caravan, did a bit of tidying up and things like that. So the sun has come out today and it is absolutely gorgeous here. We, we're, um, we're packing up, which is a shame. So we're just having a quick look around before we leave. So there is a, a locked gate at the back of the car, uh, caravan park, which is actually near where our caravan is. And, um, and it just takes a code and you come out of the gate and this is on your doorstep. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's a boardwalk that walks all the way around. And, um, and so you've got yeah, a little bit of a nice walk with some beautiful views. Caravan Park is actually really good. It's called the Garden of Eden. Um, it's got so many activities if you're wanting to keep occupied, mainly in fair weather. Um, there's a giant chess set, there's sort of a little putt-putt, um, there's a tennis court you can use, there's some little trampolines and a playground, the dog wash is free, the amenities here, the toilets, play loud cheesy music all the time, which is really entertaining. And um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice spot here. It, unfortunately, we've run out of time for this spot, so we, we're going to have to move on, but it's definitely, we're now within sort of long weekend distance from Melbourne. So this is definitely somewhere that we'd probably look at coming back to. Well, that's a wrap up for another week here on the south of the New South Wales coast. Such a beautiful location down here. Um, yeah, really underestimated what would be down here. There's just so many amazing little towns, little fishing villages, beautiful coastline, incredible beaches. It's just 
a really amazing spot and it's a bit of a shame we don't have more time to explore down here or the weather not being better as well. It's a, it's a beautiful sunny day today as Hannah mentioned but it's been uh, pouring rain the last couple of days and uh, yeah if you live in southeast uh, Brisbane or southeast Queensland just uh, stay, stay safe there because uh, yeah the pictures on the telly are unbelievable but um, yeah this about wraps us up we're really on the home stretch now so today we don't actually know where we're going to stop we've got a few potential locations uh, but we've only got about a week left of traveling so we're heading to Victoria today which will be good so it'll be the first time in a year that we've been in Victoria so good to be back in our home state um, but yeah it's been an amazing trip so far an amazing week and yeah we're really on the home stretch now um, we've got about a week left so um, yeah very bittersweet really excited to get home but you know, if we could keep traveling forever, oh, we certainly would do. But thanks for joining us again, guys, on another episode. Um, yeah, we've really enjoyed you following along this episode and all of our episodes so far. We really appreciate the support. So smash that subscribe button, give us a like, and uh, drop a comment down below as well. We love answering those. But uh, yeah, enjoy this episode, and we'll see you next week for the home stretch. So we've got a few days in uh, Malulabar here. We're not in Malulabar, though. Hmm. Three, two, one.